The death of a nine-year-old Dalit boy in Rajasthan is a story that should shake all of us as we mark 75 years of independence. Because in the 21st century, India is dealing with caste violence and casteism in its ugliest forms. The nine-year-old Dalit boy was brutally allegedly beaten by his upper caste teacher last month for daring to drink water from a pot that was only meant apparently for upper castes. The little boy died in hospital in Ahmedabad last week. All he wanted to do was drink water. And his father has said in his police complaint that when he did that, the teacher abused the son with casteist slurs and then proceeded to beat him. The boy was badly injured internally, both in his ear and his eye. The teacher has been arrested and charged with murder under the SCST Act. The issue has snowballed into a huge political controversy as well, with the Ashok Gehlot government facing criticism not just from the opposition but also from its own ranks. A Congress MLA has quit over this. Congress leader Sachin Pilot went to meet the boy's family today. But will it be enough? Well, joining us first on the program tonight is the former speaker of the Lok Sabha, Meera Kumar, who put out a very powerful tweet today, ma'am. I just want to read out what you said. You said, a hundred years ago, my father, Babu Jagjeevan Ram, was prohibited from drinking water in school from the pitcher that was meant for Savarna Hindus. It was a miracle that his life was saved. Today, a nine-year-old Dalit boy has been killed for the same reason. Ma'am, very powerful tweet by you there as you draw that comparison between what happened to your father and this child. What has happened is worst. Hundred years ago, my father was able to survive. After hundred years, the little boy dies. So this is the progress we have made. Nidhi, I want to thank you for inviting me to this program. It's an honor and giving me the opportunity to express my feelings. I once asked my father, Babu Jagjeevan Ramji, why did you fight for the freedom of this country? Why were you a freedom fighter? Why did you take that risk? This country has done nothing for you or for your ancestors, except he insults, humiliation, and inhuman atrocities on them. Why did you do that? So he said, no, free India is going to change. We'll have a casteless society. I'm glad that he's not there now, 75 years after independence, to see that India has not changed. Sad. Right. Yes, you can see we made progress in this field and that field and that field, and you can make so many, so many examples you can give. But what is the basic? What is the humanity, the human factor, the humane factor? What is there? Is it a miss? There's so much poison, hatred, violence in the minds of the people. Everybody pities the Dalits. I pity the non-Dalits. Upper caste and lower caste. I have an objection to that. But the moment you say upper caste, you they are full of pride. You the upper caste. Yeah, I, 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 you know, I, I understand what you're saying, ma'am, and it's, it's very powerful, actually, what you're saying. But you know, why do you think that? And lower caste well, feels, what? feels very different. So, ma I, ma'am, sorry to, sorry to interrupt. I think you're getting a call. Uh, if you can disconnect that call because then we can't hear you. I think it's, I think it's gone. Sorry, I, I just wanted to ask you, uh, you know, why do you think we're at this point where we have achieved so much as a country? And, you know, we, we're just so excited about celebrating 75 years of independence. But is this casteism so deeply entrenched? Is it, do you think that this is something that's going to be near, nearly impossible to come out of? I think it is impossible to come out of. Nothing is impossible. We just have to 
put in power, will power, political power, political will, social mindset. So many things we have to put in. So much of change. There has been so much of change. But why this has not changed? I know why it has not changed. My father had given me the example, reason why it has not changed. Do you want me to tell you? Please do. Do you, if you have the time, I will tell you. Yes, ma'am. Please go ahead. I, I, I asked my father, Babuji, ये जाति व्यवस्था क्यों नहीं बदलती है सब कुछ बदल जाता है एवरीथिंग चेंजेस विद टाइम व्हाई डजन दिस चेंज ही सेड इफ योर बेसिक नीड्स आर मेट रोटी कपड़ा मकान इलाज के पैसे पढ़ाई के पैसे देन यू नीड टू थिंग्स यू नीड लव एंड यू नीड रिस्पेक्ट लव इज इजी टू गेट In a family, you get love. Friends, you get love. But respect is very difficult to get. You have to do tapasya to get respect. Very hard work, sincerity, honesty. So, so much you have to toil to get respect. But in a system where you get respect the moment you are born, why would you change that system? In a society, in a system where you get respect, even if you have so many, so many defects in your character, why would you change that system? So those who have a hold on this system wouldn't ever want to change it. That is a reason. How much of this, ma'am, is a failure? You think of the political class in this country. Uh, we continue to seek. uh votes on caste lines and i guess that's just the reality of the country we live in but how much of this is a failure of of our political leadership uh, across the board today it has happened in a congress government in rajasthan but it has happened in gujarat it has happened in many other states this is not new yes political class political people those who are in the public life are responsible after all they come to serve the people but to limit it to and to to put the burden entirely on the political class and the political system will be to get the issue lost in a wood you see you you talk of this party is ruling in this state the other party is ruling in this this is the statistics of this state this is a comparison and you just get lost in that you're not addressing the main issue how do you get rid of the caste system we stray away from that so that is why i don't want i really don't want that we should just end up discussing whose party is ruling whose party is ruling in which state and how many instances have happened Let's let's not go into the statistics. Ma'am, 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 one final question. If I could ask you, you you've been such a uh, you're such an accomplished, uh, uh, you know, you've been a politician, uh, diplomat, everything that you've done. But do you find even today that you are often judged by your caste and that background more than by your other achievements? Yes, my father achieved so much and with such great difficulty. But even today, when he is mentioned, he's called the little leader. Now no other leader is called by his caste, but my father, because he was Dalit, so he's called by his. Now he's called by his caste. I am also. So many times I didn't face the difficulties he faced, because I was sheltered and protected in a way. But I did. There was there were snide remarks which humiliated me. There were gestures. There were open, open statements. made to me you see we, are, we it's not that dalits are fools or foolish they have intellect and very sharp intellect and they can feel we have feelings and we have intellect we can understand when we are being humiliated and i'll tell you not in india leave alone india i was humiliated in london when i was posted there i was looking for a house to live in as i was i I was posted there, so 
There was one person, he was not even a Hindu, he was a Christian, Mr. Jacob. He had, he, he wanted to give me his house and rent. I liked the house. And I said, I will shift. He said, fine, we shift. When he was leaving, he shot his last question. He said, are you a Brahmin? I said, no, I'm not a Brahmin. I'm a scheduled caste. Do you have any problem? He said, no, no, no. And he went away. But he never gave me the house. Why did he ask me my caste? He was living in London for 25 years. So you see, this has not gone. My father was the Deputy Prime Minister of India, 1978. He went to Varanasi to unveil the statue of Dr. Sampurnanand. There, he was humiliated. He was abused by his caste. He was the Deputy Prime Minister, mind you, a very powerful personality. He was abused by his caste. And he, asked, he was asked to go away and say, Jagjeevan, Chamar, Chalegao. So he came home and they washed the statue with Ganga Jal because it got probably polluted. So you are asking a question which is very apparent. That caste system, it takes into its embrace everybody. Absolutely, absolutely. Ma'am, I, I, I'm, I'm really speechless and I, and I really appreciate that you've shared these stories with us today. I think often we forget uh, as you know, we, we celebrate everything around us that there's still so much that's part of our society that's literally in the dark ages. Thank you so much, Meera Kumar, for joining us on NDTV today with your thoughts on this. Thank you.